like accidents, okay? Um, like I sprained my ankle um, while doing a show. I was doing a live show and I sprained my ankle. And then I injured my shoulder because uh, I was doing go-kart, like I was go-karting. So I get zero respect for this injury. <laughs> Moment I say I was injured my shoulder, go-karting like, <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why. If you're going really fast, okay? Just because they're tiny doesn't mean they're not dangerous. That's what she said. Anyway, so we... <laughs> I went to the doctor, I'm like, Dr. Saab, my shoulder is fucked. He's like, what happened? I said, go out and go out and go out. This is for real injuries only. So I had to go out and put mud like a dog and heal. Yeah, so it's like, they don't give respect. And then the third time, like, I, I got this, like, infectious boil on my finger. Like, it was a boil and then it broke and it became even bigger and became, like, blue. And, and it, it exploded and pus came out, like Baskin Robbins ice cream. Yeah! Even I don't like Baskin Robbins ice cream. So it was very weird, okay. I was like, what's going on? And I couldn't figure it out because I was healthy. It's just this freak accidents happening. So then I spoke to my friend and she was like, Kenny, it's obvious. Like, what? It's obvious, Kenny. You can't see, it's obvious. Like, what's obvious? It's obvious, Kenny, accidents stuff. It's obvious. Like, what is it? Kenny, it's Nazar. <laughs> I was like, if you had said cancer, that makes no sense. <laughs> Nazar! Thanks for putting up on Snapchat. No, my life is awesome. Yeah. People are putting kan on you. Kan is evil eye. Because this normal eye, this good eye, and this evil eye. Basically, evil eye is right now in the audience. If, if I'm having fun, some guy will look at me and be like, fuck this guy. That's evil eye. That's basically mm, target lock. Mm, just. Yeah, it's, they're everywhere. In every part of the world, there is a variation of Nazar, yeah? So I was trying to understand this concept of Nazar, okay? It's a nice concept, unlike other superstitions, which is like random. Like if a black cat calls, full day will be bad. I'm like, what logic, bro? Huh? You cut your nails in the house, you turn gay. I'm like, what? I don't know. But the thing with Nazar, it's a very self-patting superstition. It's like you're doing so well, no? That's why bad things have me do. It's great, it's a very reassuring superstition, you know, like, like touch wood is also like a humbling superstition, like touch wood will make you like feel bad about normal things, like, yeah, yeah, things are going really well, touch wood. <laughs> yeah, my parents are very healthy, touch wood. Yeah, the environment is getting fucked because of deforestation. Oh, fuck, no word. So you just like constantly, there are these certain superstitions that guide you a certain way. So Nazar is very interesting because I was trying to understand how does Nazar work. So basically I figured it out. Okay? So basically when you're born, you're born in this giant bubble, okay? This nice translucent bubble, like that lychee when it's naked, no? Like a, like a lychee bubble. You know that game where you get into a bubble and you like, yeah, like you, inside you pretend like you're having fun. But you're, you're getting brain hemorrhage as from your friends for, uh, for you know, suggesting this stupid activity. So yeah, Nazar is like that. Full life, you have this nice clean bubble, it's Nazar free. Suddenly some guy in the audience like, this guy, and dirty Nazar, like it hits like, ankle twisted. Promotion you won't get. Go karting injury. Fail an exam, not because you didn't study, because of Nazar, okay, just. So this is a nice concept, you walk and Nazar gets full, fully infected. So I was like, what do I do? She said, can you have to remove your Nazar obvious? Okay. So can you remove my Nazar? She's like, no, I'm younger than you. Someone older than you has to remove your Nazar. I'm like, who's making these rules? <laughs> who's making these rules? Is there a WhatsApp group of Nazar <laughs> that I'm not part of where they keep updating the rules? So I was like, okay, I have to find someone who's older than me who's going to remove the Nazar, okay? So I was in a party once and my friend Praveena, she was chilling and I'm like, yeah, Praveena's older than me. I'll go ask her. Praveena, like, can you help me? She's like, yeah, what's up? Tell me, what's up, Kenny? I'm like, can you remove my Nazar? She's like, And we went inside a room and she just sat me down and she's like, when was the last time you had your Nazar removed? I'm like, doctors have not asked me with this intensity. I'm like, I don't know, I've never had my Nazar removed. She's like, <sighs> she was very, very worked out. So she's like, okay, you have to remove your Nazar right now, sit down. In what direction are you facing? I'm like, what? To face east. I'm like, the Nazar Association <laughs> has consulted with the scientific community about Nazar rumors. There's some daddy somewhere who called up NASA. Hello, NASA! 
they're just craft checking it's uh, he is still the ideal direction for another woman of course it is dadi uh, the hubble telescope to send us some back some reports and east is the ideal direction okay stefan thank you so much dadi send us alu parathas we love them so love them dadi oh shut up stefan so yeah so east i have to face east so i'm sitting and i'm facing east and she goes inside and comes out with something in her hand what is it salt Egg is a holy bro. Anyway, so uh, salt, salt, salt is amazing. And he said, right? Because if you remember clearly in, in in organic chemistry, in organic chemistry under salt, and he said it says optimum for nazar removal. <laughs> That's why you should study your chemistry. It says that so she took salt and she came, and she was like she got into like battle mode. She was just like ready because I know she's gone through training. I know there's a secret underground dadi association <laughs> somewhere in some basement that straining pavam girls to remove nazar. Yeah, because I've noticed this uh, uncles and all they shy away from this conversation. They're like, no, I'm not talking about this. There's some training going on. There's some three dadis like they just folded their sarees like that, just walking around a room, and the three pavam girls in salwar comes like, oh. with three guys in front sitting on a chair, full nazaring out like, oh. so full. Full of nazar. Every entrance exam they fail. Some four thousand cats cross their path and they're doing party and all that. Oh, oh, oh! It's just worse. Full nazaring out. We just like three dadis running. Okay, big chef. That's the only reason I do this joke. So you imagine a dadi saying big chef. Okay, big chef. You think you understand nazar? No, you don't. You fucking bitch. Imagine a daddy. Mm. Imagine chupri chupri chachi, but more badass. <laughs> chachi chaar so bizarre. Why is it chupri chupri chachi? <laughs> okay, bitches. And they teach you like you sit, and you do two times clockwise, and one time anti-clockwise. If she is like, okay, one time, or two times clockwise. <laughs> I said two times clockwise. <laughs> Can see scars of salt. <laughs> <laughs> You went for training here yeah, today after. <laughs> so, so she made me sit down, and she did two times clockwise, one time anti-clockwise, and then she did that. All the negative energy got sucked into the salt. <laughs> now it's unstable. <laughs> so much negative energy. So how do you contain it? <laughs> Saliva is the key. <laughs> And how do you dispose of this nazar fill thing? What? You throw it in water? Yeah? Burn it? Oh, see, all part of the WhatsApp group. <laughs> Freaking liars! And me also. No, but that's not what Praveena did. She opened the window and just threw it outside. That's the worst way to dispose it. What is this one? Another free guy just walking. La 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 la. Oh! Go cardiac injury, ankle. Thank you guys for watching the video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Speaking of subscribe, we reached one million. We're gonna reach it soon. All we reached. What point of the time of the universe are you watching this video? I don't know, Barry. Keep running. This is a very important moment because I never thought I would reach this first of all. And second. A lot of people watch videos. They like it, share it, but they don't subscribe. But you have, and that support is why I've come so far. It helps me get production money, helps me collaborate with other people, helps me experiment because I know I have the support. Thank you so much, guys, and don't put Nazir in this video. Just share it, subscribe, because <laughs> I'm talking about Nazir. It's like a callback. It's crazy. Google it. Oh yeah, what is that? No idea. But thank you, guys. See you soon.